Let me start by adding a quick plane here in the center of my 3D world. And I'm also going to tap into edit mode and then I'm going to turn the edge length display on. So you can see the lengths of these edges here. And what I want to talk to you about is this transform median area right here on the top of the transform panel. And it can be a little bit cryptic, especially in the beginning. So at the moment everything here is zero and that's because what these values are actually they are the middle points or the median points of the selected vertices so i actually have four vertices selected and their median point is here dead in the center and that's why it's zero 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 let's move this one blender unit on the x-axis like so and now you can see that the x value the x median here is one because when we take the x values of the four selected vertices, their average or their median is going to be here, which is one blender unit to the right. And the y value stays at zero because it hasn't moved up or down. So the y point is still here. It's still in the dead center of the vertical y axis. If I only have one point selected, it's going to show me the exact coordinates of that point. So if I select this point here, we can see that the exact location of this point is two blender units on the x-axis and one blender unit on the y-axis. So that's an exact value. What if I move this, let's say I'm going to move it so that it's three on the x-axis and select both of these guys here. Now it's going to be 2.5 because I have two points selected and it's showing the median value of those two points.